Hi, this is Asen. Today I would like to share how to obtain a Spearman rank correlation coefficient. Please consider this example. According to Spearman, the correlation coefficient is equal to 1 minus 6 times summation d squared over n times n squared minus 1. Okay, what is d here stand for? d here stands for the difference between the rankings of x and the rankings of y. And n here stands for the number of pairs we have. Okay, to obtain the difference between the ranking, so means that first we have to rank the data set. We have two options here. One is we rank the data according to ascending order. One is according to descending order. However, we have to make sure that we rank the both the data set according to the same order. Means that if let's say we rank X according to ascending order, we have to rank Y according to ascending order as well. Okay, let's start. Okay, I will rank according to ascending order. The smallest here is 4. So I will give a rank here 1. Okay, then the next number will be 2, okay, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, now rank for y. The smallest here is 7, so I will give 1 here. And then the next number will be 8. So 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The next step will be find the difference between the rankings. We can take ranking of x minus the ranking of y, or the ranking of y minus the ranking of x, because at the end we will take a square. So means that no difference here. Okay, so 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, and then 0, negative 1, 1, 0. Okay, we take a square, so 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So it means that total d squared is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0, which is equal to 4. So this will give us 1 minus 6 times for over n. n is the number of pair. We have one pair, two, three, four, five, six. So it means a total of six pairs here. And then six square minus one. So this will give us, okay, we calculate. So this will give us 0 0.885714 and so on. We we'll try one more example. This time we consider to have same numbers. Okay, when we encounter same numbers, then we have to take average rank. Okay, for example, okay, also I will use ascending order. Okay, now the smallest here is one is four, but I have two four here. So it means that meaning to say they will take one and two. However, we cannot give rank 1 to this 4 and rank 2 to this 4 or rank 2 to this 4 and rank 1 to this 4 because they are the same means that they're having the same position so what we have to do is take the average so 1 plus 2 over since we have 2 4 here so over 2 so means that the average rank will be 1.5 1.5 okay now the next number will be 7 Okay, however, we cannot put a rank of 2 here because 2 already taken over here. So what we have to do is give rank 3. Okay, the next sample will be 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, now we try for y. Okay, the smallest here is 7, so I will give rank 1. Okay, now we have 2, 8 here. So means that that will take 2, and 3. Okay, so the average rank will be 2 plus 3 over 2 because I have 2, 8 here. So it means that 2.5, 2.5. Okay, then the next number will be 14. Okay, we'll starting from 4 because 3 is already taken. Okay, then will be 5 here and then we have 6, 7, and 8. So it means that we have to take the average rank 6 plus 7 plus 8 over 3 because I have 3, 18. So it will be 7, 7, 7. Okay, now we find the difference. 
Okay, 1.5 minus 2.5 will be negative 1. Okay, 1.5 minus 1 will be 0 0.5. 3 minus 2.5 is 0 0.5. And then 4 minus 5 is negative 1. 5 minus 4, 1. 6 minus 7, negative 1. 7 minus 7, 0. And then 1. Then we take the take a square. So 1 here, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So it means that the total of d square is equal to 1 plus all this okay so it means that one two three four five five point five so it's equal to one minus six times five point five over we have one two three four five six seven eight eight pairs so eight times eight square minus one okay then we input into the calculator so the answer is this okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you